Hi everyone, it's the Math Sorcerer here with Chegg. In this video, we're going to be discussing mathematical modeling and variation. Let's do an example. The question says to write the mathematical model. In part A, we have y varies directly as the square of x. Let's work through this one, solution. So you just have to read it really slowly. So it says y varies directly, that's y equals, and when it says directly, that basically means you're going to multiply. So you write your k, and then you basically multiply by what's coming next in the sentence. So y varies directly, that means y equals k times, in this case it says the square of x. That's the same thing as x squared. So when someone says y varies directly as the square of x, you would say y equals k times x squared. Let's do part b. m varies inversely as the cube of n. Let's work through this one. It says m, then it says varies, and then inversely, that means we're going to divide by whatever is here. So it'd be k over and then the cube of n, so n cubed. So if it says directly, you multiply. If it says inversely, you divide. So again, in part a, it says y varies directly as the square of x. When you see directly, you know it's k times x squared. In part b, it says m varies inversely as the cube of n. So inversely means you divide, so you would divide by n cubed. And you always put the k, okay? k is called the constant of variation or the constant of proportionality. It has different names, but you always want to use the k. Part C, let's work through this one. It says y varies directly as x and inversely as the square root of z. Okay, so let's do it one step at a time. So y equals directly as x. So we know that's k times x because directly means you multiply. And then you divide, because it says inversely, by the square root of z. It'll be kx over the square root of z. Let's just check that. y varies directly as x, so it's equal to k times x, and inversely as the square root of z. So you divide by the square root of z. Very nice. Let's go ahead and do another example where we actually find the value of k. This example says, suppose y varies inversely as x. Find k if x equals 3 when y equals 9. Let's carefully work through this solution. We'll start by writing down our equation, and we're going to use the first sentence to do that. It says y varies inversely as x. That means y equals, and it says inversely, that means we divide by whatever is here. So it'll be k over x. So y varies inversely as x means y equals k over x. The next sentence says, find k if x equals 3 when y equals 9. At this point, all we're going to do is plug in 3 for x and 9 for y. So we have 9 equals k divided by 3. We have to solve this equation for k. To do that, we're just going to get rid of this 3 by multiplying both sides by 3. On the right-hand side, the 3's cancel. 3 times 9 is 27, so you get 27 equal to k. You can write that backwards, and so k is equal to 27. And that would be the value of k in this example. Hopefully you've learned some math in this video, and if you have, Make sure to check out more videos on Chegg. Until next time, good luck.